All right, gonna show you a prime example of charismatic witchcraft on full display. Got this little charismatic devil, uh, Perry Stone, coming out and doing this little performance with this uh, voodoo Indian type of uh, theme. And watch what he says in this little show he puts on. That's all it is, it's just a show. Watch what he says and watch what he refers to. This is just typical charismatic witchcraft, like we see from Simon the Sorcerer in Acts chapter 8. Simon the Sorcerer was the very first charismatic. He bewitched people by his faking of spiritual gifts, by his witchcraft. Watch this video. Watch the uh, bewitching influence in this charismatic devil building here. This is the kind of bewitching spirit that is among these charismatic, you know, because like I said, it's a bunch of devils that are inhabiting these places. And a bunch of devils are inhabiting these charismatic heretics like Perry Stone. Okay, watch this. Now, now you see there those quote unquote unknown tongues. You see charismatics, they like to do that when you call them out on their demonic uh, gibberish. They'll say, well, it's just unknown tongues that we're speaking. Uh, really? Read Acts, or sorry, read 1 Corinthians 14. The unknown tongues had an interpreter. It was not just this demonic gibberish that the charismatic witches do. And I call them witches because they're this is witchcraft that they're doing right here at this charismatic devil building. But yeah, read 1 Corinthians 14. The unknown tongues had interpreters. It wasn't this demonic, satanic gibberish that the charismatics do. Okay. Just noticed, I, I just want to put that, look at the little Indian guy there. The guy with the, the Native American getup funny what does this have to do with jesus christ nothing it's a sensational performance he's putting on to conjure up his voodoo spirits Huh? Wait, what? Guardians of the of the fire? Excuse me? Uh, huh? What is he referring to by guardians of the fire? Weird. Very weird. He's saying raise up, O guardians of the fire. Uh. What's he referring to? Okay, let me show you what he's referring to. Who are these guardians of the fire that are going to be raised up out of the bottomless pit? I'll just add that. Just throw, just throw it out there. Revelation chapter 9. Okay. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit, one of the compartments of the underworld. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, and as a smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of earth of the earth had power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And it was to them give and to them it was given that they should not kill them but that they should be tormented five months and their torment was as a torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man and in those days shall men seek death and find it not and shall desire to die and death shall flee from him from them and the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle and upon and on their heads were, were as it were crowns of gold 
and their faces were as the faces of men, and they had hair as the hair of a woman, and their teeth were, uh, were as the teeth of, teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were the breast, breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had the tail had tails like a scorpion, like unto a scorpion, and there were stings and there were sti there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Ad Adon Ad Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Now quick little side note, Apollyon, I do happen to believe could be Satan. Okay. Just, just a theory. Okay. Because he's given the key to the bottomless pit. So I do, I do happen to believe it could be Satan. Just a theory. I'm not saying that that's hundred percent for sure, but it's just a theory that's out there that, that the Apollyon could actually just be Satan. Uh, but just, you know, a bit of a side note, uh, that wasn't really part of the video. Just wanted to point that out because the name Apollyon actually means destroyer. Well, what is Satan? He's the destroyer, but Continuing the video, but the, those are the guardians of the fire he's referring to. These locusts that come up, the, he's saying, come up, guardians of the fire. Yeah, these locusts are going to come up out of the bottomless pit. They, those are the guardians of the fire that he's referring to at this charismatic witchcraft ritual. You know what's kind of funny too? I haven't heard the name Jesus mentioned once in this entire little show that he puts on. You know? Oh, bring up the guardians of the fire, you know, oh, uh, healers of Israel. Where's Jesus Christ? It's not. Why? Because their Jesus is not the Jesus Christ of the Bible. The charismatic Jesus is Antichrist. You know, if you're a charismatic out there and you don't like that, just get right with God. Don't get mad at me. Just get right with God. Yeah, look at look at the uh, Indian guy just having having a, a good time right there. Now, I don't need to play anymore because you pretty much get the point. But um, I encourage you, if you you know have some spiritual fortitude, Google a video of a voodoo ritual. It's very similar to this. You know, voodoo ceremonies and voodoo rituals and witchcraft ceremonies, very similar to this. Why? Because the charismatic movement is a bunch of, is a bunch of witches. It's a bunch of uh, devil-possessed witches. Am I saying that all charismatics are lost? No. But these, these guys, these hyper-charismatics who just are into this demonic speaking in tongues, yeah, they're lost, plain and simple. They have devils inside of them. And if someone doesn't like that, then you got a problem with God's word. Because you read Mark chapter 5, the man who is possessed with devils behaved just like a charismatic, plain and simple. But just wanted to show you that. So yeah, the guardians of the fire he's calling up are the locust creatures, the hybrid locusts coming out of the bottomless pit during the time of Jacob's trouble. That's who he's referring to when he says, come up, O guardians of the fire. You know, not something you want to be calling up, but again, the charismatic movement is just a movement full of witchcraft. Just to end this video off, I'm going to quickly give the scripture on Simon the Sorcerer because he was the very first uh, hyper charismatic in history acts chapter 8 verses 9 to 11 but there was a certain man called simon which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of samaria giving out that himself was some great one hmm. kind of like the charismatics out there they lift themselves up as some kind of pope 
to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest saying this man is the great power of god and to him they have regard because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries so that's what the charismatics do they bewitch people with sorceries they bewitch them with their voodoo occult rituals that go on every single sunday at charismatic devil buildings they're not churches they're devil buildings they are a haven for devils and this this perry stone guy he's just a devil you know when he was doing that tongue speaking those are just devils being manifested in him watch out for this charismatic movement it is a satanic cult and they are bringing on the antichrist in this new world order mystical uh new age they want to push so don't be deceived may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.